Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and so you can get notified every time I make a new video. So without any delay, let's start and I'm going to use Michael Lynch. You can find all the information in the description below in regards of PicoShare. PicoShare is a simple app that you, I'm going to install it on Docker and it's a file sharing app. So it's extremely easy to install. We're going to use the information here on the github that i just added i'm going to leave the information again in the description we are not going to use the network part the vlan we are just going to use the normal information as you can see that that you can also find on the github page all right and we're going to use just port 3001 we're going to change that to port 80. i was using that one because i you know i had the vlan so set so what we're going to do now again you can actually view the demo before you install if you want to and you can actually log in there is a limited on the actual demo server but anyway it's very simple let's go and let's start all right so i'm going to open portena and we go we are already got some of the containers there this is just for demo purpose i don't use this server and i'm going to create a new stack i'm going to call it uh, pico share and i'm going to paste the content from here right up to pico share right click i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste it here and I'm going to make it, uh, change it on the actual port and I'm going to put it back to, to 3001. Now the P shared secret, as you can see there, PS shared. Now that is the password for the login, right? And I'm going to go again on the top there and explain that later. RTEV, whatever. That is the password to, you know, to log on. Make sure you make note. Uh, that is the password that I'm using. Of course, you can change that to whatever you want, okay? So I just deployed the st uh, stack and I'm going to wait until the deployment is finished. Here we go, the actual stack has been successfully deployed. If I go to containers, as you can see there on the top, PicoShare. And with the port 3001, and that's the actual IP address. Here we go, uh, we're going to do now, well, the installation has been done, everything is ready. And that's how easy it is to install it. You can find more information on the website, uh, on, on the actual GitHub page. And now this is the passphrase I was talking about, the actual password that you actually put in the actual installation, as I showed you earlier on. So if you go back here, as you can see, this is the code I used. And this is the actual password that I'm going to copy. And I'm going to use that one to log in. So you actually make sure you use your own password. Don't use the same thing I did. Otherwise, people, you know, can get in. And as you can see, we just got inside. Easy. Here, you can actually log out. You can have an expiration every time you add a new file. This is a very simple. Here is going to be the list of all your files. I'm going to click choose a file just to show you. You can actually, yeah, you can actually uh, copy or paste or you just drag and drop, I presume. And here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do, just going to choose one of the files here. There we go. Let's you choose this one here. Open and automatically because I haven't changed the expiration date is set to 30. It's going to be 30. Now you got two link. You got the full link and the short link as well. Let's do let's do one day here and let's go and add another file so you can actually see it. The expiration date is going to be for one day. I'm going to add uh, let's see this file here. All right. If I go to files, you can see both files have been uploaded and you also get one day expiry for that particular file again you can still copy the uh, you can delete and copy the the link that you can send to people as well now uh, you need to use a uh, nginx proxy manager if you use the dog like i did just in case you want this uh, to be accessible as to be accessed from the outside okay that's quite important as you can see uh, you can actually delete that or you can Click on that, for example, copy the link address if you want to. And again, you can open uh, incognito. You're going to check it that way if you want to, how it looks for the client. Again, as you can see here, we open up and we're going to do it. You can actually also um, read the content of the file. You can make it downloadable if you want to. Let's close this one up and let's uh, upload a video file. So that you can actually see as well that can actually, you can actually see a video through it as well. So I'm going to do the, my logo opening. I'm going to leave it as it is there. And 
you can see we got both short links and full links. I'm going to copy that, open again the incognito, drag and drop. And as you can see, we got full screen for the actual file. Simple as. All right, guys. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making this video. And uh, I'm going to see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Without sh you sharing the videos, I cannot make many of the videos, you know, and this is the only way, the only thing I'm asking. So guys, yes. And again, don't forget to go to my GitHub page and download everything you need to install your own apps. See ya.